Welcome back. All right. So, I'm back. I last we left off, uh, you guys were started back in uh, the orcs' lair, uh, finishing like looting, doing your stuff, uh, and then you guys uh, like just started walking, continued inside the like the creek. Um, walking uh, alongside the, the stream and looking around for any other orcs, any other clues of like uh, remaining threat and stuff like that. And uh, looking around and with Zook uh, Ludwig, like owl, you found a uh, weird like camping, old camping spot at the top of the, uh, the cliff. And there was also apparently uh, a place that was easier to climb. So a lot of attempts were made <laughs> by Fern and Zook, but Tamara was uh, the star of the show using, um, uh, what was it? Using Misty Step. <laughs> Misty Step to get. Uh, as far as she could and then continuing like very high acrobatics uh, manoeuvre to get to the top. Uh, she was then able to tie a rope, get everyone up uh, after a long discussion with Zook and Fern on if Zook could enter the bag of holding instead of just being uh, like pulled up. Which... There'll be a moment. <laughs> Which ended up being the case, like just Simat and Zook being pulled up by everyone else. And Zook wanted to uh, lift himself up with the mage hand and the kind of something with the bag of holding as well. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. mean, I mean, it was two different plans, but I still think uh, I was a genius, even even if it wouldn't work. <laughs> you, would have, you would have died. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have not died, but all right. Uh, I was waiting for you to see if you would go like by yourself in the bag of holding and end up on the top of the cliff with no one to pull you out yeah, okay. of the bag. Okay, the plan was definitely not that though. I was gonna tie the bag of holding to um, Ludwig mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just make him fly up there, and then Tamara was already up there. So I thought everything would have worked out perfectly. Perfectly, I'm sure. Perfectly without a hitch. No role could have messed that up. None. Um, no problem. <laughs> so yeah, you ended up making your way uh, to the top of the cliff. You had a, an amazing view on the whole, um, the whole like scenery that oh. you guys have been tra traveling back and forth for uh, a couple of days since you arrived in Fendelin. <clears throat> You guys decided to camp there, uh, making no fire, but you did spot in the night uh, the light of a fire, it, like farther up the cliff or farther down the cliff. Um, in the morning, you guys made your way there, found a camping site with no one around. You finally found your way back to your cart, finding it mostly empty. Beer, beer gone, also a missing wheel. Uh, kind of mad, you guys continued on foot, on, foot uh, on the trail, making your way as far as you could uh, before you had to camp down. <clears throat> During the night, Tama heard a weird noise, uh, and at the same time entering the tent, she saw an unknown figure stabbing Cade, uh, which he quickly reacted, uh, even sleeping, uh, uh, getting his sword out and just like getting it through the neck of this figure, which fell down, uh, seemingly dead instantly on the ground. There was two other figures that started uh, like being scared, not understanding what happened. Uh, they, throw, they threw their weapons on the ground, uh, asked for forgiveness. Uh, you guys uh, 
save the one that was dead uh, or dying, uh, you tie him up to a tree, let the other two go, and ask them <laughs> to retrieve the wheel and bring it back if they wanted to see their um, friend alive. I think he, Tamara maybe shot one of them with an arrow in the shoulder. So one of them is one wounded, the other one is, is fine, but... I didn't yeah. remember that. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't remember then, either, but we're going to say yes. You <laughs> don't remember shooting the other one? I remember one? we talked about it. Yeah, I think I think we we thought that I can do it, but I don't remember. Or someone I punched him? Thought. I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure it was just uh, arm a little bit. I know. Uh, I, I tried to intimidate one, but I can't remember. Yeah. I think yeah, I, I think he's I think I punched one. Oh, that might be it. Yeah. Or it might be the guy that you healed up and then put punch unconscious again. I don't remember. Anyway. Um So yeah. You guys went back to sleep, got your full rest. Uh the sun is rising. You guys are waking up uh after the trouble of the night. And the day is yours. So we have Sounds one like that wait. is dying, or very close to dying. And... Um, he's not dying. I'm pretty sure he was stabilized, so he's just unconscious. Okay, go, go, go. He was without clothes, I think. I don't remember. Uh, if oh, we, yeah, but it's not the one clothes. that you... you oh, it's, it's the one not, that ran off. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. So you didn't Oh, yeah, they got it. naked. They got oh, naked. Yeah. Forgot about that. But I you, don't remember. <laughs> you didn't harm him, but you did, like, take everything he had, and you let him off naked. But the one we have is... With his clothes, right? Um. Yes. Why okay. do you want to know who's naked or not that much? Hmm. <laughs> well, that guy could be dead. Because all the night without clothes. Well, I don't think it's going to be really comfortable. But yeah. Yeah. Well. You. Uh, well, you guys wake up. Uh, if you look at him, he's still there, still uh, tied to the tree with the manacles. Um, Magic manacles. He still seems unconscious. Um, like, he's, he has blood all over. He was stabilized, but like the blow that Kate gave him was pretty, pretty bad, so <laughs> he doesn't look good. Mm. Well... Do you think we're going to get our wheel back, or we shouldn't hope too much about it? I don't think that wheel's coming back. Yeah. Mm, roll for wisdom. Let's, uh... Okay. Let's, let's <laughs> make breakfast, and uh, we'll head on out back to Fenderland, then. What what are you trying to do, Sam? Um, I was trying to figure out if I, what kind of, what kind of mood am I waking up to, and what kind of, uh, kind of patience I have, or, you know, naivete. Okay. <laughs> You're so rolling it was for. Me, it was you know, a mood a mood level. roll. Yeah. A <laughs> vibe check. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> All right. Um, so, what does it look like your uh, your breakfast this morning? A ration. Ration. Yeah. Basically. And we have meat, I think. Oh, we still have meat. That's right. Yeah. I just put meat the from meat. what? I don't. The from the... owl beer bear. Uh, I think that I think this one has uh, sailed. Oh, okay. Hey, Tamara, we're, how, we're in the forest, right? 
Hey, Tamara, we're in a forest, right? Oh, oh yeah. Do you How want me that? to catch the breakfast? Yeah, yeah. Um, we could uh, go hunting together. Okay. You're willing. Up for it. Yeah, of course. We can go to the forest and get something. All right, let's try that. Okay. So... All right. I'm going uh, to... Go for a survival check. Um, either cast, um... helping okay. or both of you guys. So how about this? Let's I'm make a... it a competition. The one who brings breakfast for everyone the first. You get to win a uh, the next blessing spell. The next what? <laughs> <laughs> the next blessing spell. No, because I never know who to target with my spell. Okay. Maybe you should cast it on me or you. So, so the one who wins gets to have the blessing. You want us all the next to time go. I cast it. Fine, oh yeah, fine. anything. Really. So we're going to fight for your blessing. <laughs> yeah, that's very much it. Isn't it fun? Oh, I think this is fun. Awesome. Oh. It is not. And I'm gonna cast my. I'm gonna cast guidance on myself. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> everything's uh. And use everything's fair time. rule at this point. <laughs> fair <laughs> game. Everything's fair game. Uh, so is everyone like hearing this and want to participate? Yep. I'm going to participate for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll get the so, bow. Long bow I am out. Not, I'm gonna wait for everyone. Oh, <laughs> so kid, kid is staying in the camp, trying to make a fire while you guys are uh, going off to hunt. May yes. everyone that wants to try, um, so, uh, are you guys spacing? Joke. Sorry, came back first. Oh yeah, you can be the judge. Good. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Are you guys splitting up a bit, or yeah. you are all like looking each other up so that if someone notice someone else finding some tracks, you like. No, no, no. I'm going with... to. Uh... At this moment, I start just to running into the forest, like. <laughs> going hunting. Yeah. All right. Uh, wait. I'm gonna yeah, what also. Have I done? I'm gonna leave my chainmail at the camp, and I'm gonna try to go stealthy, er than usual, so I don't have <laughs> this advantage on those rolls in case. All right. What's your AC? Uh, without the chainmail. Yeah. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, if I remove the chain mail and wait, wait, I have to where where the hell is it? And let's say I don't have the shield either. Eleven. Great. Good to know. Well, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. It's fine. I always have backup. Uh, I have some stuff in. Yeah, he, I, I'm, I'm he's fine. a he's a tank. I'm fine. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going right. stealthily into the forest hunting. Uh, uh, it's a survival check, right? Uh, yep. Hunting. Everyone, make a survival, a survival check. check. Eh. Let's go. Seventeen. Wow. No oh, right, Zook. Also, <laughs> Zook's gonna come back carrying a huge motherfucking buck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fifteen. Nice. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Was not just not too high, but okay, okay, okay. So Tamara, fifteen, seventeen for Zook. Fern. Twenty. Ooh. Natural. No, no. Natural 17, but I have plus strain survival, which I'm proficient in. All right. It seems. <laughs> Say that. N -n -n Natural 20. Oh! No! Oh, freaking way. 
portal of you lucky 25. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a hell of a breakfast. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right. So, um, it was worth the inspiration point. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone like with your own like tactic uh kind of trying to space uh everyone out uh tamara like rushing the wood trying to like find a space farther than everyone uh Simad just like entering the wood uh like following his instinct zook you just like pick a scent uh, try to follow something that you picked up. Fern walking like uh, stealthily, just looking underground, trying to find uh, tracks. You are, um, you all find some tracks. Uh, you can't all identify exactly what it seems or what it is, uh, except Samat. Samat, you like. You enter the wood, you're just kind of letting uh, your instinct go. Uh, it seems like you you are you are getting pulled by a force that you don't really uh, understand, but you accept it, you follow it, and uh, you end up on tracks of like big paws, which appears to be uh, uh, the tracks of a bear. Tamara rushing in, uh, <laughs> looking at all the like the uh, like the trails and everything and trying to spot something you uh, you see like in your peripheral vision while trying to cover as much ground. Uh, some of like the branches appear to be kind of uh, broken uh, in some place, and uh, you look you look down uh, to find some tracks, and uh, you find uh, like tracks on the ground, um, and they appear to be like dog like. It's hard to tell uh, at, at this point. They are not that fresh. Uh, you probably have some ways to go. Uh, but yeah, you, you have some tracks that you found that you can follow. Uh, Fern and Zook, you uh, kind of end up on the same track. Like Zook following kind of more of a scent and like going in circle. Zook wa walking very uh, slowly. <clears throat> you. Um, you end up on like a track of what appear appear to be who's. Oh dear, you again. <laughs> I I'm not gonna acknowledge him. I'm just gonna keep following the tracks. I'm focused right, right now. Yeah. I'll make two um, step and I'll get in front of him. Wow. <laughs> Wow! Right. Well, we're, like we're gonna start hunt. with hmm? we're gonna start with Zook and Fern. Uh, <laughs> so y you guys, uh, are are you trying to do it stealthily? Yes, that's my no. approach. <laughs> <laughs> he is. I'm not. <laughs> He's going to sabotage. I, I'm not sabotaging anything. He came into my track. All right, um, Fern, you can make a stealth check. Wait, that's what she said. Oh. <laughs> uh, stealth, that would be 12. And now I'm going to keep following the tracks. Can I make a noise check? <laughs> A noise check? No, oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. All right. So, um, you. Let's. Just a second. All right. 
So, uh, Fern, you make your way slowly, following the track. Zook, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to try and follow the tracks. I'm also going to send Ludwig ahead, following the tracks, see if he can can't see the animal from up high. All right. Uh, it's going to be hard for Ludwig to follow the track. He but kind of needs yeah, he guidance need, to... Needs vision, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe maybe you can see up ahead without me sneaking. Uh, it's 100 feet, so... I mean, I mean uh, maybe. I'm, I'm this right. close of shooting uh, Ludwig. <laughs> But that would only be me. Fern, Fern not, it's not gonna kill the owl. <laughs> you almost kill him by putting him in the bag of holding. You want to finish him off. That's what's happening. Didn't you put him there? Uh, well, was that me? Wow, I'm well, a bad it was master. A, yeah, that, yeah, my a group concept. Pretty sure it was your. Yeah, it's a, gr it was it's your a group idea thing. to try it. It was an experience. Science. Mm -mm. Yeah, science. What for science? It was a group effort. <laughs> it was a group. <laughs> idea. All right. Uh, so go roll a perception check for uh, Ludwig. Yeah. Second. <clears throat> uh, he has plus two perception. Let's roll this. That's uh, thirteen. All right. So you send Ludwig, uh, kind of circle around the forest. The forest is dense; it's very hard. But he does catch, uh, uh, like movement. Okay. Uh, maybe like a hundred feet uh, to the north. All right, I'll follow. I'll. Does it lead where the tracks are? Well, I mean, is it kind of? In the uh, same, no. Uh, no, it's different. Okay. You, you would lose the the track. I'm gonna I'm gonna go where Ludwig sees. I'll go. Uh, I'll follow his new tracks because right now Fern is uh, not helping. Hmm. So Fern, you see Zook cutting in the wood, leaving your tracks. Are you still following the tracks? Are uh, the tracks fresh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they are pretty fresh. Um, with the roll that you you got, you can estimate that it, it hasn't passed there for too long. So uh, you should be able to get there. Not too. It, it shouldn't be too far. I'll uh, I'll ponder the, the the following the tracks or following Zook so he doesn't get like in in trouble and I'll uh, fuck <laughs> I'll follow Zook you follow Zook? yeah good you're gonna have to break stealth because Zook is just like it's difficult terrain so your uh, speed is already ass uh, but it's even like it's a quarter if you're stealthing mm -hmm. I'll, I'll stay uh, 15 feet behind Zook Right. But I'll keep up with him. Good. So you guys uh, start walking. Make another check for Ludwig. See if I can keep yes. the track. Because like he just some movement. He can't really track right now. I believe in you, Ludwig. Let's go. Nineteen. All right. So af uh, you you are like walking in the direction that Ludwig told you. Um, you guys are working at like, I don't know, what's your speed, but I think like something like 10 feet. Oh no, you're not stealthing, so 15 I'm, feet. I'm um, 25 actually. But it's half because of oh, the terrain. Oh, because of the terrain, yeah. <clears throat> so like in, it, it, it doesn't take too long to cover like the 100 feet. Um, so uh, in like... Uh, two, three minutes, Ludwig ping you to look to like uh, the east and he, that he saw other movement. Uh, and at this point it is uh, like 30 feet from you. 
So, and that would mean like uh, 45 feet for Fern. So okay. if you guys want to make Can I see perception what it is? check. Mm -hmm. You didn't, you guys didn't spot it, but from Ludwig, it should be close. Natural 20! Woo! Right. Eight. 18. 18? Yeah. You, you are both able to um, see what happened. <laughs> okay. What? I think he's trying to fix something. I don't Sorry. Know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so yeah, yeah. Uh, with those roll, um, and you, Fern, you know, you know this Zook kind of shifting. Like he was going in a direction. He shifts, uh, and you look harder. And even in like the thick uh, branches and ve vegetation that is around. You can spot uh, it, a deer in the distance. And same for Zook. As soon as Ludwig mentioned it and you look, uh, like, you can, you can almost, like, smell it and uh, you, you see it about 30 feet from you, uh, a deer. I'll get within 30 feet of the deer stealthily. I... I... I'll... I think we're gonna roll initiative for you guys, because like I don't know what any of you are gonna do, <laughs> but I mean uh, I don't know who's going first. But at this point, it's a race, so all right, roll initiative. Oh boy, no, that didn't work. It's nine. Yay! <laughs> you go first. <laughs> no natural one. Natural. Oh my god. Initiative is two. All right. And Zoo, did you say? Yeah, nine. 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 Um. So, as soon as you guys like see it, uh, you guys weren't that stealthy, and <laughs> you kind of almost lock eye with it. And it's very fast. And it's just gonna bolt uh, like in the forest. It has the speed of 50 feet. So it's going 50 feet uh, like in the opposite direction from you guys. All right. Okay. So the deer, the deer went first. Yes. <laughs> Okay. With your with your initiative, <laughs> it, uh, it, no, it no, it first. didn't roll lower. Than, oh, come on, <laughs> <laughs> lower than nine. So that means he left. It wasn't uh, that that close. It was he rolled thirteen. How far away so, is he? So oh, it was was far from me. Um, so at this point, it's he's like eighty feet from you. Jesus. Okay. And uh, how far am I from uh, Fern? Uh, Fern is just behind you, like 15 feet behind. All right. I think I'm going to catch that. There's actually no way. Um, I'm going to send Ludwig uh, on Fern on the, his shoulder or something. I guess. Okay. <laughs> I thought and you were. <laughs> I was gonna attack me. On, turn on him. <laughs> <laughs> now, now's the time, Fern. You go down. No, actually, I'm gonna. I'm, eyes. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna ask uh, Ludwig to go on uh, on Fern, and uh, I'm gonna cast Long Strider on him. It is a touch spell, but if Ludwig is touching him, I can. Uh, I can use Ludwig as kind of a uh, you know a change bridge. the touch. A bridge, yeah. Bridge is a good word. Uh, what does that do? Uh, it's going to increase his uh, his uh, speed by 10 feet per sec. Well, 10 feet. Nice. And I'm going to aim on him to uh, run. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, that's it. There's actually nothing I can do. He's way too far. 
sounds good. Yeah, I'm gonna end that turn. What's the range on magic missile? 120. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's 120. But um, you know when I I started D and D, that was my first character. Yeah, magic missile is not on my list. <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah, that's it. No, I know, I know, I know better now. Even I, as a cleric, has magic missile. <laughs> to be honest, everyone Fern. has magic missile. <laughs> Even I Even do. Fern. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna kill the deer with magic and steal it from you. <laughs> mm, I don't think I can. I, it doesn't do that much damage. Unless it's a, a deer. deer. Yeah, no. But it's very low damage, by the way. Yeah, but it's a deer. It's a deer, yeah. It's a deer. <laughs> and um, if you miss, you could always say, Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, you can't miss with magic missile. That's the beauty of it. So, I mean, if you don't kill it. Yeah. Brutally. Uh, 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 maybe I'll... Okay, wait, wait. Okay, 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 okay. I have... Technically 40 feet of movement right now. Uh, half that because it's difficult to earn. Bollocks. Oh, right. I, I forgot to do that for the deer. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, so he actually just moved 25 feet from you guys. Oh, damn so it. it would be 55 feet. I'm sorry. Uh, Zook, I, if you want to redo it, uh, I'll let you because I forgot about that. It's that, or I le I, I remove the uh, difficult terrain for now, for Fern. Let me see. Do you think I can cook it while I hunt it? Of course. And... Hmm. So is is fifty feet away? Uh, fifty-five. Fifty-five. All right. Can I see? Uh, can I see sixty feet in front of me? Can I see like the five feet in front of him? Uh, um, try, try to see the visual here. Sure. Yeah. I mean, nah. Let fuck. Let's go overboard. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use scorching ray on him. Because uh, oh. Zook doesn't know how to uh, not. Be aggressive in life. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's right now. It's uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let me see. Do I need to roll something? Yeah, he needs to roll. It's an attack I mean, roll, I think. Is scorching. It, it, it is seventeen. Seventeen. Mm. You yeah. roll seventeen. I roll. Yeah, it's a. It's a. It's one of the few spells I have that I have to. Okay. Uh, well, he has uh, half cover because of like the forest. Um, that's plus two, right? You uh, yeah yeah. Yep. Uh, but yeah, even with that, you you hit. Let's go. So I need to roll. So all three rays. I'm gonna make them. Straight for the deer. Scorching yeah, I'm, ray on a deer. Yeah, yeah. I'm cooking it. Oh dear, I'm cooking it. Wait, even yes, though yeah. it's it's 120 feet range. It's 240. Yeah, but I I didn't want I actually want to do that, but now okay. I now I want to cook it, and that would be that's 20 damage. But do you have to roll for each ray? Yeah, I did three, uh, 11, and six. No, but I mean, roll attack for each, each ray. Yeah. yeah, I did. First ray the, deals three damage, the second one 11, and the third one. No, the six. attack roll, not the damage roll. Yeah. Do you have to oh, roll I attack have to roll for it. each ray? Oh, my bad. Okay. Uh, okay, let me roll the damage for the first ray. And then yes. we're going to go from there. All right, my bad. I, uh, I didn't realize. That's eight damage. He's dead. Okay, that's there you go. 
now uh, we got meat and it's already cooking. I'm that efficient. That's it. And so, like, Zook just turns around. Fern, you notice it. Uh, notice him. You guys all see the deer. And Zook, describe how. Uh, what does the scorching ray look like when you? Yeah. So uh, so shoot I had I had trouble seeing him. I I concentrated my magic and then I kind of shot in his direction. So he hit the ground about twenty five feet before him and just kind of sliced him up right there. Beautiful red flames. All right. And where does it hit? I'm sorry. Where does it hit on the deer? Why does it hit? I'm sorry, I don't get it. No, where? You oh. said it hits the ground, or oh, it... uh, he's running away from me. From so you know, this is behind in the middle. So I'm guessing I shot him in the ass. That's what I'm telling you. Good. So yeah, huge ray of, <laughs> of fire that goes out from your hands, uh, mm -hmm. pretty much like tearing through woods and branches and whatever is in the way and straight in the deer bullocks uh like you already have ham cooking and uh from just that like blow uh the deer falls to the ground and is uh just like sh shot dead there is meat on the menu boys Meat's packed on the menu. How did they know what a menu was? <laughs> oh, good point. Well, that that's a bit overkill, no? It's mine. All right, you bring it back. Oh, shit. And I'll head back to camp. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect. That's going to be good, but we're going to go to uh, Tama mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so Tamara, you did find tracks that look like uh, dog-ish, wolf, you're not too sure. A coyote. Um, sorry? A coyote. <laughs> yeah, eee. sure. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to try to approach Selty. And trying to find if I see this creature. All right. Um, so I'll make you just do both a stealth check and a perception check. Okay. So you are just following the track at this point uh, and trying to surprise the, the creature. Okay, for the stealth. Uh, it's a. 13 and for perception oh my god <laughs> it's a nine <laughs> uh, all right nine all right so you uh continue on the track for like 15 minutes you're getting deeper and deeper in in the forest you are like taking all the caution that you can to stay stealthy um you don't see the creature anywhere and you're still following the tracks and at some point you reach like a river and or like it's a very small uh creek of water <clears throat> stream of water um but it's just enough to like make you kind of lose the track if i get back i hear the bear or i hear something like a bear uh, do you want to wait here and see what happens with Summit? Yeah. Alright, so we're that, gonna leave it here for you. <laughs> shit! <laughs> Alright, Summit! 
What's up? Am I lagging? No. I'm here? No. Okay. Sorry, you guys lagged for some reason. The map. So, uh, yeah, you are just following your instinct. Uh, you find trails of something big. Like, very big paws that, for you, look like a bear. It's the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, and, like, it's a very clear track. Like every branches are like cracked and everything. It's like a trail. All right, which my with my natural twenty, can I see if the bear tracks are fresh? They are. And you, um, you can estimate that it, it, it was it, like it, it passed by not too long ago. I don't know what about bears. Don't look it up. It's meta gaming. <laughs> no, 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 I'm looking at my spell. I, I'm looking at my minus one nature. <laughs> I'm gonna try to follow the tracks. Um, well, can I perceive it? Can I hear it? I wanna see if I can hear it. Uh, yeah, sure. Make a perception check. It's eight. Twelve. Can I roll too if I hear something? Something uh, and uh, weird? Not not now. Okay. Um twelve. You don't hear anything. Uh right now. I'm gonna try to stealthily I'm going to silently augur myself and steadily move forward towards the track. Is that okay? Roll, roll a stealth check and... And it's a disadvantage. So... Why? Because I got an armor. Because oh, I keep my armor. And I, I rolled <laughs> very poorly. I rolled something like a... Five. That that's for stealth. Mm-hmm. All right. And what are you doing? I'm following the tracks stealthily, stealthily, hopefully, little little bit of stealth. Wait, you're five. Sure. Yeah. Um. All right. So. You follow the tracks uh, for a good, like, 10 minutes. Uh, they're going around. It's very clear track, but they're going around. Uh, you get the feeling that it's just foraging, like looking for food. Um, and... Make a make a perception check. Seventeen. All right. Um. So the 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 path kind of like turn, take a turn. You turn, um, and uh, you see the the bear. Behind. It is, a brown bear. Um, it is it see me. very. It's very close, and it, it seems to have picked up your scent. And it's looking at you, and you're looking at him. And here, I'm gonna have you roll initiative. <laughs> well, uh, good. So you're going first. Oh god. Okay. What, what do you do? Stop meta gaming. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. I just looked, but oh god. <laughs> so I'm gonna gently 
cast bless on myself. Okay. And try to give the impression to the animal that I'm not dangerous with animal handling. Can I do that? Uh, is bless an action? Yes. Well, it depends. If you do, it, it all depends. If you get down, you could actually just move. You could use your movement to look like you're crouching and doing like, don't eat me. Or I can just cast prestidigitation and uh, make an illusory image of a fish at his feet to distract him. Uh, is that also an action? No, that's a, well, that's a cantrip, so I, je le dois. <laughs> it's a bonus action cantrip? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I think, do you no, need the, the feet warcaster to do that? Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, Thank it's you. been a while. It's been, a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, if you don't want to cast bless, I I, I can um, let you go back. No, I'm casting bless. Bless is important. All right, casting bless. bless. Where are you? Oh, yeah, uh, that, that, that's <laughs> that's it. Are you moving? I'm not. I'm keeping steady. Just. Not moving. I'm no danger. I'm not moving. All right. Um. All right. The bear. Well, I mean, the bear. It, it looks at you, and it doesn't seem to be friendly. Like it's looking for food. It looks hungry. It picked up your smell, and it's growling at you, and it's moving forward toward you. Is he at a, at a, at a, at a good distance from you? From me? Sorry? Is he like close to me? How far is he? Um, I, I don't remember what I said. <laughs> But he, he's close. He's like um, 45 feet from you. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to backpedal 25 feet to be at a 70 feet okay. distance. Um, so yeah, uh, on his turn, he he just look at you with that uh, like menacing look, and he start like bolting at you. Um, he won't he won't reach you on this turn. Uh, he has forty feet, so he makes it almost to you. Uh, so he would be um, fifteen. How many feet did you say you went back? I did 40, well, I I'm said 45. The, I'm at 70 now. Okay. So yeah, he's 30 feet from you. <clears throat> and that's going to be his turn. Hmm. And we have to keep in mind that it's all kind of happening at the same time. So even if like, because our part, uh, Zook and I is done, we're going to do like, oh, well, we're gonna look for uh, well. We're gonna try to hear bears, but it's kind of happening at the same time that we're hunting. Yes. Okay. It's all happening at the same time, but uh, if you don't really have any reason to go help the other, um, so like, because Fern and Zook it happened very quickly. Tamara like uh, like five minutes and Samat like. 10 minutes so you guys maybe uh, like have uh, uh, 10 to 5 minutes 
Dad, we don't know what you did right now. I... Uh, but Simat did it really shout without or made any sound, so we're just going to keep going a little mm. bit. Well, could we possibly hear the bear growling or doing any sound? Or no? Uh, he's not like shouting or like mm. it's just a small growl or um low growl mm -hmm. um okay. and what was i gonna say I, and you guys are pretty far i right. got a small question um yes. does does ray of fire make uh, any sound Um, that's you to tell me. I feel like it would. So if anyone's hunting right now, they should be a huge, like, I don't know, some some kind of fire sound. Like, I, I would say thunder, but I'm not exactly sure what a scorching ray would sound like. It, it, it could sound like a blast, but yeah. Yeah, a blast. Uh, yeah. And an explosion like a fireball, though. And Tamara and Samat, you guys would have heard that, but it was like at the beginning. When the bear had heard that? Um, maybe that's why he wasn't alert. Oh, okay. Okay. Just check. <laughs> good rule. Good, good save. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. <gasps> All right. So, so, so Matt, it's my turn. It's your turn. Yes. A am I in melee range? Melee range from it? Uh, well, no. You have thirty feet between you and him. Okay. So he he moved forty feet. Shit. I'm in the woods, right? Uh, yeah, but like the trail is pretty big. If you stay in the bear trail, okay. uh, like I'm not considering it. Uh, difficult terrain, but if you um, get out of it, it would be. Okay, so I'm going to <laughs> we go all out. Let's go all out. <laughs> uh, I, I'm like, oh. Oh. <clears throat> mm, this is gonna be good. And I cast a guiding bolt at second level. All right. And uh, that's E plus five to attack. Do I have? Yeah, bless. Yeah, I have blessed. Okay, so I can't put bless in my character sheet, I think. I can say, like, I'm blessed. Um, Why would you do that? Because I am blessed right now, and I'm wondering if it adds to the spell attack roll. I think so. It does, but it's still a, a d4. You have to roll it. Yeah. So so it's a uh, 17 to hit that hits oh yeah <laughs> and that's um Math tonight. Twenty one damage. Twenty one uh that nice. I I don't know what's so, the symbol of force, maybe? Radiant. Radiant damn. Good. 
so yeah, he, uh, you, you do your spell, big bolt of energy as fast as light. It's just like appear and poof, explodes, explodes on, on the bear. Uh, fur, like catch fire. There's some, uh, um, like, uh, skin and everything that kind of explode on impact. Uh, it hits his shoulder. Um, it looks pretty bad, but he's still standing and looking very, very hangry. Very hangry? Hangry. hangry. Yep. Hangry? Or oh, hungry yes. and angry? It's, it's exactly, a mix. Yeah. Right. You've never heard that? And I'm gonna hangry? hold back 25 feet. Yeah. Mm hmm You're you're what? Pulling back twenty five feet. Good. So just running and <laughs> shooting the the bolt. Um all right. It's not very pretty to see, it's just like the the spell almost propels me like I'm jumping like back I'm jumping back while doing the spell and I'm sp just spinning in midair and just start running. Does it make any sound? Uh, does it make any sound? Uh, I would say I'm going like to tell you. I'm going to have a high pitch. Like, pew. Like, pew. A, like a. Pew. Pew. It's like your laser in Star Wars. Like very high pitch, like <laughs> intense beam. You know what I mean? Well, I'll tell you, the bear definitely does a big roar at this point. Roar. Roar. Gre. Um. <laughs> sorry. Tamara, you pick up on it. Uh, Zook and Fern, you hear a faint thing, but it's too far from you guys. Uh, so Tamara, if you want to join the initiative, mm. you can. Yes. Wind's howling. Oh. Uh, that's six for the total of nine. All right. Um. So that would put you next actually because we're already at the end uh of the turn and i'll say you're about uh 80 feet 80 feet yes but you don't have a clear path to it oh so for me it's easy to move in the forest so I'm going to move. You're right. A little bit closer, like a thirty feet. That is my speed. 30? And right. at that point, I can see Saman. Um. Make a perception check. Okay. Oh come on. Uh, six. <laughs> Uh, no. I see the you, bear. <laughs> you heard the, you heard the sound. You're rushing toward the sor the source, but uh, at this point, you can't make um, you can make out any like details, or you can't see Tim Simap or the bear. Okay, so I'm going to cast Misty spell, Misty step. <laughs> And, and I'm going to uh, move, I think it's 30 feet. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move 30 feet farther. So I'm like 60 feet right now. In this point, I should see both or at least the bird, I think. Um. I'm already in total like 60 feet, 60 feet. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it to you. Okay. 
So I'm going to treat, uh, scream. Do you need help? <laughs> Alright. Uh, so this happened on your turn. Uh, the bear is just like continuing uh, toward you, Samet. Uh, it's still... I think he was 30 feet from you. You moved 25. Is that right? Yeah, he's 55 now. So uh, he just runs toward you. He's at 15 feet from your face. Uh, and that's your turn. <laughs> Is that a medium or a large creature? It's a large. He, he's imposing. <laughs> <laughs> It's a big, big dude. Big boy. A, a big fluffy boy with uh, half of his arm teared down. So he's partially limping like on three legs. It's, uh, it's my turn? Yes. Okay. Why? Okay, I see. Uh, so I'm. <laughs> Does he look? He looks really hurt, huh? Yeah. Uh, the the bolt didn't miss, so <laughs> yeah, it it took some damage. Up. Finish it all. Twenty one. <laughs> I don't know how much his HP does it. It has. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I do! <laughs> but you hit it with guidance, so next attack has advantage. Yes. Guiding bolt, not guidance, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. That. Yes, he's glowing. <laughs> oh, how far is he? 15 feet. Close. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get <laughs> no, you. No, I'm actually considering <laughs> moving up to him. <laughs> Bashing him in his face. Oh, yeah. With your hammer? Yeah. Sounds so men, aggressive. Men fighting it. Yeah. All right, so I'm uh, I'm kind of uh, hesitating for just just for a very small moment. I'm hesitated, and I, I'm like, "All right, fuck it." And I'm ta I take my um, I'm taking my hammer, running up to him. So he's how far is he? Fifteen. Yes. Okay, so I'm running up to him. And I'm gonna, while I'm running, I'm gonna cast Spiritual Weapon. And at the same time, I'm gonna bash, try to bash the bear with Spiritual Weapon. Okay. Roll for your attack. You guys are so aggressive. So, so you're attacking, <laughs> right, with your Scorching Ray. Right? <laughs> it was yeah. clean. On a deer. It was yeah. clean. Well, I was the... cooking it. That's two attacks, actually. It's uh, first yeah. attack uh, with the hammer. Yep. In the face. Um, so first attack with the hammer. 14. That hits. So that's... Was it with advantage? <laughs> nope. Yeah, one of them that's is... Four. <laughs> that's four damage. Blood okay. in. I rolled something. Uh, I didn't want to roll that. And so and uh, the so uh, that was the, your your hammer. Yeah. Now your and you took advantage on the hammer. Nope. Well, roll with advantage on the. Well, you you use guiding bolt. He's currently glowing. Oh, like, from I have advantage. The, okay, that, I have that's advantage why I asked. Virtual weapon then. Well, no, it's the first attack. So if you attack first with the hammer, you have advantage with the hammer. Okay, then it's a natural 20 for the hammer. <laughs> That's precisely why I ask. <laughs> um, 
So how how the, did we use my rules? I think yes. so, hey. Eh? Okay. Yes. So I t I rolled another d10. So that's five. That's seven. So that's fourteen bludgeoning damage. Yes. How do you want to do this? <laughs> oh, nice. It is very spectacular. I'm like running away from him, and I'm I, I'm like looking scared, just like in front of the camera, just for a tiny bit, and then I, I like my big brows, I like, and my my bushy face and big uh, big cheeks are like, and I'm I turn around and just start. <laughs> without even like in a cinematic i wouldn't even like call it or i would do something very very subtle with my like my hand as i grab my hammer and i would jump and i you you'll see the scythe beside and like behind as i jump and I smack him to him to his face you see the scythe as well like in, in a like slow motion manner and i bash his face <laughs> <laughs> And, so, uh, do I see Tamara? That is and I'm behind, so like, specific. oh, no, 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 I <laughs> Do I see Tamara? Yeah. Well, at this point, like, when you uh, take your hammer, smash the head, like, to splatter with it, uh, with the sheer force of the hammer and the bear colliding together, um, the, the sight just, like, adding to the fact that he's completely dead. Um, Tamara kind of makes it her way to kind of like close by just appearing in a cloud of smoke uh bow ready looking at you and he just like looks at her bloodied armor like exploded head of before the i see bear her on the ground like... <sighs> <sighs> blood. Uh, you should smile more and, <laughs> and i look at tamara i'm like Got breakfast. Nice. Good work. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. That was so <laughs> specific, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Too much blood. And I help, right. her, help him to bring the bear. So, Zook, Tamara, and Samat. How are you guys planning to um, bring back your loot? Yeah, that's going to be fun. You I'm guys not... are pretty much in the same situation because, like, Zook bringing, up, bringing back a bear is almost the same difficulty as... A deer. Tamara, a deer, sorry. Uh, is almost the same difficulty as Semat and Tamara trying to bring back a whole bear. If only one of you had uh, a Goliath with you, it would make it if so only. much easier. I'm just gonna, I made you faster. We can't ah. take no, up the no, head. it didn't. Because yeah, when you, you change to a scorching ray, that cancels oh. out. That's right. That's right. Huh, huh, huh? Kate, what are you doing right. right now? Uh. I don't know. Was I uh, trying to lit a fire or not? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it, it takes it takes some time. At this point, like it's been um, it's it's been fifteen twenty minutes. Nobody's been back. You're just like going at it with your fire. Fire. I the fire. There's running. a tied up guy. I think. Uh, yeah, I guess okay. I could look Ask. if the guy is up, oh. if it's if the guy's still there. Yeah, yeah, the guy is still there, is still unconscious. Is no, unconscious? I try to Tim gently to see if he wakes up, like uh, slap him, like a uh, bit. Yeah. yeah, just a bit. Yeah, sure, go for it. You have to roll. No, you you slap you slap it a, a bit. I, he he makes some uh, growling noise. <laughs> he kind of opens his eye a bit and rolls back, uh, kind of unconscious. 
He's alive. But I guess he's, he's alive. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So you, you go uh, back to your fire. Yeah, the fire's good. I guess I could climb a tree to see further if they're coming back. Yeah. Make an athletics check. Yeah. No, I acrobatic. Like, I acrobatics. Like, that's the thing tree, you want. Like, nice tree. I could climb it. <laughs> <laughs> acrobatic. That's 14. All right. Uh, yeah, it's not hard. Like, you climb the tree. Uh, on which the guy is like tied up to. Um, look, looking around, make a perception check. Perception. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, you see just a little bit of smoke coming from the forest, like. <laughs> not too far like maybe 100 200 meters uh in the forest um not like a forest fire but there's some smoke coming in uh you did hear like a bang and uh like some not scream but like crawl when you were like just messing with your fire <laughs> but it it it, it was <laughs> It was pretty far away, like nothing that alarmed you, uh, really. Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah. uh, I guess they're gonna be back soon if I see smoke. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just gonna wait. All right. Uh, is who left? Yeah, yeah no, it's the uh, the, the music. Gone. Lost the oh, stream. Music. music is gone. The music is gone. Nice. All right. So, I'm gonna say good night, my kids. Oh, oh. It's a mat. It's my wait. No, wait. we can go to zoo. I was just asking you guys. Okay. What are you doing? Going back to camp, and I'm gonna so. wait. So it's my my turn. Then I explain what I'm gonna do. Oh, he's gone. Are we, Are we taking a break? Is that what's happening? You're uh, taking a break? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm ready. I just went for some water. Are you allowed to do that? Just leave like that? I am. Because I'm standing. Oh, that's what's happening. Yeah. Standing. When st it, it comes with it. <laughs> it's the perk. It just goes naturally with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right, Zook, what's your plan? Uh, Fern, like the muscle and the bag of holding just left. Yeah, I know. That's kind of <laughs> Back a, to camp. that is not nice. The fact that he has the bag of holding. Damn it. Um, <laughs> so how heavy a thing can I carry? I tried to see that. Mm. How heavy is it there? Um. Uh, carrying capacity is 15 multiplied by a strength score. That's the weight in pound. So, uh, um, I think it's different though for, for a gnome and below. Uh, just, just go in inventory, look at weight carried. A deer weighs uh, between 88 to 198 pounds. Pounds? Okay. And a bear is a, between... <laughs> it's, it's uh, it's more like 125. Yeah, 125. Uh, I just checked, so because gnomes are considered... Small in size, it's half the uh, the formula you just said. Burn. Okay, so it would so be know seven. It it would would mean seven. Seven pounds. Yeah, seven pounds seems way too low. 
No, seven, but you multiply with the strength score. Oh, yeah. Seven, then, then divide it by two. So strength is uh, seven. So it's seven times seven. My, uh, uh, how much is that? Divided by two. 24.5. All right. Uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna try and, and cut the best part of the meat. I'm I'm good at survival, so I'm pretty sure I can uh, use my little knife and uh, carve a, a good uh, whatever's not burnt <laughs> of the deer. You said you're cooking it for that purpose. I mean, and it is cooked. Not... I said burnt. I meant burnt. I want oh, good okay. pieces, well cooked. Good. Good. Roll, roll uh, your survival. Is it survival? Let's go, baby. It's 14. Uh, yeah, 14. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, you, you did quite a good job. Like You're able to get like the best part. Um, you carve out a, about 25 pounds of the primest meat that you can get from the deer. Uh, some of it is cooked already uh, at different level, <laughs> like depending where from the hit you're harvesting it, but uh, some of it is still raw. Um, and yeah, you have about 20, 25 pounds of uh, deer meat. Good. That's, I'm going to bring that back uh, back to meat. And also, uh, because he's the, the uh, MVP, uh, during the night, I'm gonna throw some uh, bit of meat at Ludwig. You feed him, keep him alive, not put him in a bag of holding. It's always good. That's and that's great. it. <laughs> yeah, the way they takes the meat, the the piece of meat, and like eat it. He, he loves it raw, and uh, he's very happy to get that's some raw it. meat. No one, no one's gonna touch that. He loves you raw now. Oh, uh, no I'm, one. I'm struggling like hell. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I, I saw Fern too. <laughs> I'd be able to carry 900 pounds. Nine hundred as, as a I Goliath. My saving throw. Jesus. I, I remember there's a lady with us. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry about that. Um, we'll, be, we'll be better. <laughs> so yeah, you're coming back. You're coming back to camp with your meager 25 pounds. It's, I feel like 25 pounds is a lot. Of um, meat. Zook, what what Could happened get. to the rest of the deer? It's still in the wood. Hasn't moved. I brought the best part. All that firework for 25 pounds of meat. It's it's prime meat though. Right. Should have helped me. <laughs> you have like a street accent. Yo, it's prime meat, yo. It's prime <laughs> meat, yo. <laughs> what you mean? That's the best meat on this side. Yeah. All right, so Matt, wow. Tamara, what are you guys doing with your bear? Well, uh, taking it back, I guess. <laughs> How much can you carry? I can carry. 300 pounds. It's a 500 pounds bear. Mm. We can. Well, you can carry the... 300. I can. What, what's the formula again? Um... It's a 15 multiply by your strength score. Uh, but if you're a medium creature, you kind of double that. Okay. So it's 30 times my strength score. Yeah. I can carry 420 pounds without a problem. So we're good. All right. We can do it so, together. Superhuman. <laughs> yeah, with the both of you, like Damn. each pulling on. Uh, That's a lot. Yeah. Wait, how much, how, how much did you say a, a bear not weight? Like, 500 pounds. Hey. Well, they, yeah. they weigh, brown bears weigh an average 400. That's what I saw. Because I have but here. That one is 500. That one can be, yeah, it can be really bigger than that. 
I see like here 800 a, a kilo. What? For a brown bear? For a brown bear. Yeah, could be it. Yeah. Could be it. Uh, 800 kilo? You're crazy? It's almost a ton. Not for a bear. Even a grizzly is not, is like not even 300 kilo. No, I think it's bigger than that. I'm sure a bear can weigh a ton. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think a bear. It average average weight, it's 1,800 pounds. Yeah. He is, he's on right. Forgotten yeah, uh, Realm yeah. Wiki. Average oh, grizzly and... weight is 270 kilo. Yeah, large me. Yeah, you're looking at. Weight. I'm looking at. Oh, oh, not actual. real life. Who cares? Oh. We can carry it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I was looking at fantasy mutant, like, kind of bear, just like... My bad. <laughs> normal bear. Anyway. Fantasy bears. And so I said 500 is 500. Uh, you guys can carry it if uh, you help each other. It's a young um, brown bear, starved. <laughs> we can just carry the bear. So, like, yeah, you guys, uh, it's going to take... Some time you you weren't the farthest in in the forest. Uh, you're not walking fast by like tugging on the bear, even with the two of you. Um, so it takes about like 30, 45 minutes to come back to the camp where the others are already uh, cooking their twenty five pounds of deer meat. Deer meat. On so, this, um, what what we see coming out of the forest is actually a bear. And I suppose there's like a Semat and a Tamar kind of under it. So do we see them or we just see kind of the bear, you know, the carcass of a bear like walking? I would think that you would see and hear us quite uh, a bit. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> the struggle. Yeah. Grunting and like <laughs> swearing and just... <laughs> you okay, pumpkin? <laughs> My cat just tried to jump on the desk and she fell. That's, uh, that's on one big kill you got there. Need a hand? And I'll go put it on my shoulder and I'll bring it back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm going to flex um, a bit. <laughs> yeah. And you guys, like, at this point, you're pretty exhausted. So, uh, yeah. It's nice that Fern is helping you guys, but uh, it's kind of frustrating that he didn't come to help you guys. <laughs> like <laughs> I he's knew. able to just carry it. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. You guys have breakfast. It took you. It took you guys about an hour to uh, hunt down all your sweet, sweet meat. But uh, you have an amazing breakfast. Um, anything else you want to do? Or you're packing your things and. Moving along. So who brought the deer back? Gonna get the deer? Who brought... Oh, oh. you didn't bring the deer back? No, I, br I brought the best of the meat of the deer. Okay. He okay, brought so back guess, the, uh, the There's me, Tamara, and uh, Zoop. I guess that wins the blessing. Well, yes. I don't know. I didn't get anything. Well, you helped me carry the bear, so it's fair play. Well, I uh, okay. helped carry the bear too. From there to over here. <laughs> I'm so like, exhausted that, close. like, that distance for me was the world. So, can you make a, I don't know, a persuasion check? Persuasion <laughs> against him, Matt. Sure, sure, I'll persuade you. <laughs> Wait, persuasion. Ah, Where's my character sheet? Persuade me, sir. <laughs> Was that Kylo Ren? <laughs> persuasion? Uh, <laughs> 17. <laughs> right. Nice. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> how, many can, how many people can you bless? Three. It depends on the level. First level, three, and... Another creature uh, or level. All right. Uh, I don't think those tugs are coming back. So there Just goes the cart. So um, 
What? Hmm? I was wondering the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Cade, if you're still in your tree. <laughs> yep. You are uh, <laughs> chilling. <laughs> you do spot in the distance like two figures slowly walking, like at maybe 200 feet off in the distance. Do they seem to have a wheel? Uh, <laughs> make a new perception check. Perception check. Seventeen. Um, it's hard to tell from this distance, but one clearly ap appeared to be naked. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. So I'm gonna jump from the tree. All right. Go back to the far. Try take to take four points of damn. falling damage. <laughs> Try to have some meat. And uh, hey guys, everyone. I saw two person coming and one seems to be naked. So I guess they're coming back after all. Well, well, well I'll be damned. Holy shit. Should Are I they alone? They should just I just kidding? shoot an arrow in their rear? Just to, like to encourage them to run a bit faster or... We wait for them to reach us. Warning shot. Warning shot. Yes, you could go get them and bring them on your shoulder. Be <laughs> faster. I'm not gonna put a naked man on my shoulder. <laughs> I'll, I'll be fine. If you say so. Yeah. Okay, let's wait for them then. I will. We'll wait for the guy. Are we, are we able to eat the whole bear? Or? <laughs> Hell no. In one sitting? <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot of meat. With nothing to drink? <laughs> it would I'm, be, I'm thinking... It I'm... would be one feet. One hell of a feet. There's bare blood. I mean, could I'm, bring that. I'm taking meat to sell, but... Uh, no, I don't think so. I put into... Well, if we have our cart back, and we don't have... Uh, well, technically, all the beer is gone, so we can stuff the barrels with... Uh, with bear meat, yeah. Because clearly Seven. there's there's not gonna be any deer le deer meat left. There is in the forest. Right, right. In somewhere there, there's like a whole deer left in the forest. That's the best part. So as you guys are, are adding uh, this discussion, continuing to uh, eat your meal eating your full um the, the the two figures you you start hearing them uh walking toward you um and you can make it make out right now uh that it's just uh, it's the two bandit that uh attacked with the other one that is tied up um like i said one of them is still naked um didn't find anything to cover himself so uh, he's like kind of holding the wheel in front of his uh, parts Junk. and uh, walking uh, toward you guys. And like in the the light of the, of day, um, you look at them and like they're not in good shape. They 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 don't have great clothes. Most of them like because the other one is still um, uh, dressed. And it's like full of holes. They don't really have any armor. Uh, they have uh, the guy have like a rusted spear, and like their face is just like full of scars, and uh, they look malnourished. They they just look like scums. Um, so yeah, they make their way uh, toward you, um, and like he he just. Let the wheel fall uh, close to you, hiding its junk with his hands, and uh, it just said, 
Here, uh, we we brought it back. Does I... his hand is able to cover it all? <laughs> <laughs> Asking the real Wait, questions. For science. <laughs> Make a perception check. The least expected question I ever I, had. Uh, yeah, I did, I did not see that one coming. <laughs> it would have been an awesome uh, three. <laughs> All right. You're not actually looking. You don't uh, really want okay, to know. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, I uh, hate to well, ask well, that. They could have the monocles, that's a guy. Sorry, right, go ahead. Uh, I I should take it off the manacles of the guy. I start to approach him to to the guy with the manacle. Yeah, I'm going to uh, it off. We okay. we could give the clothes back too. Or whatever they're worth. Not much actually. I just push the um, the sleepy guy with them. He just uh, like drags him closer to to them like quickly. Thank, thank, thank you. Uh, it's it, it's nice. We're we're really sorry. We uh, we didn't choose that, but uh, we know what we did. We understand. All right. So I guess this all gave you time to think about your doings, your life choices, and all. Yeah. Right? If uh, yeah. if you boys are done playing dumb, well, there's always need of uh, people in Fendelin. If you're about to turn a new page, you could go see Sildor. What? Wait, what do you mean? Mean? You we're, have we're a, good. You have a second chance, that's what I'm saying. Fendelin. Why not? That's the closest town you can get. Yeah. Very well. Life hasn't been... Life hasn't been easy on us, but... Uh, we almost lost our friend, so... Yeah. We're gonna consider it. I'm going to like, lean, lean in a little bit towards the guy that just said that. And yeah, you're going to lose your friend again if you try to cross us. So play nice. Make a make an intimidation check. Okay, okay, okay. Intimidation 17. Uh, yeah, we, we would never, never think about doing that again. Did he pee his pants? <laughs> Were you looking? <laughs> he, he doesn't have any pants. Oh, crap. Oh, right, 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 right. He's like a naked guy. Oh, okay. I'm going to give his clothes yeah, back. Oh, oh, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, it got pretty cold last night. Uh, he's just like putting back and as the discussion is uh, happening and he's dressing back, yeah, the other guy, like the one that is not unconscious and just around, is like looking at the meat that you guys have, like kind of uh, fixated, not really like part of any of the discussion or mm. even having any attention, just like drooling a bit and just fixated on like all the food that you guys have. Well, I'm gonna um, put myself between my meat and this. I check on them to see if they truly regret the error, they understand the error of their, their own way. way. Yeah. Sure. All right. And, um, well, we can, we can clearly see him looking at the meat and almost like drooling. One of them. Yeah. Okay. okay. One is, the other one is still unconscious. The other one is dressing up. Uh, the, the other one that's not, like, been saying anything and not doing anything, he's just, like, contemplating. Mm. So, I have uh, a 15. 15. Um, 
the when they when they said that they understood what they did uh, it, it was bad uh, it was uh, it was like straightforward it was truthful uh, when they say they were trying to go to Fendelin, you get the feeling that they don't really understand what they're gonna find there or how they can even turn their life around so you get the feeling that uh, even you saying that they kind of uh, not sure how to take it okay um zook wow. can i borrow uh, ludwig for uh, five minutes maybe yeah yeah okay. it's all yours so boys ludwig here Picture, picture uh, an owl on my arm, please. Thank you. Um, he's going to lead you to a deer that is in the forest, free of charge. It's all there. There's not a lot of meat missing on it. It's almost all still there. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, you, you can take it if you want. Uh, you're, you're serious? Well, it's, it's going to stay there anyway. We have more than we can chew, and we're just going to bring back what we have to Fendelin. Make a persuasion check. Be a shame if you miss that persuasion check. Um, ten. Uh -huh. yeah. so, so, so you're, you're telling us to follow an owl in the forest. Well, yes. Okay. Listen, we've been through the war words so far, and you have been as well, so just to tell you, you know, it's true. This is our word as well. Or if you prefer, you could share these, this bear with us, because I don't think we're going to eat it all. All right. I mean, at this point, I, I don't see why you guys would have any reason to lie to us. You could just kill us on sight. Yeah, that's right. So, um... Just as long yeah. as my colleagues are okay with it, are they? You guys okay with it? Sure, we have to go get the cart back in a way. I think she's really angry at you guys, so maybe don't talk to her for a while. Uh, just as long as you understand that you need to repent yourself somehow, so the, it's a good thing to regret and acknowledge in it. I start talking about them like as a, we carve some meat, I guess. Start talking about them, how they can redeem themselves by doing some good around them and in Fenelin there's they need some help so yeah and right. I guess we're going there as well eh? we're going to Uh yes have, after uh, we get the cart back yeah the cart is with us right no it's nope. missing a wheel mm, no it's, it's no, yeah. we, we left the okay how far are we from the cart uh a day? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, half a day? No. no. Yeah, half a day. Half a day. I think. Because you guys got to the cart. Yay. Yeah, maybe mid midday you travel for quite some time, so yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know how to thank you guys. Uh, I'm sure if we would have done that to anyone else, we would be dead if they were stronger than us. So, really appreciate it. Uh, and 
Like they don't really know how to act, but they start kind of trying to just pick up their other friend and start walking to the forest. Uh, following an owl. <laughs> go, Ludwig. Go. <laughs> Make an animal handling check. <laughs> he's, he's not an animal, though. Uh, to me, yeah, it's, it is pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Four. Oof. Did you uh, just throw him on the ground? <laughs> so he just looks at you. I e bites your ear and then leaves. Wow. I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um Well, let's get the card back. I think we still have an ox, right? I uh, it's in the middle of I, I you found it in like the side of the road. It was just like roaming around. Um, I, I think you guys might have tied him up somewhere. I don't remember what you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. We did. Of course. <laughs> would make sense. Sure. That, that's something we would do. Sure. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you have an oxen. Uh, Tied up somewhere close to your camp. Wait, we could have just eaten the, uh, the ox all this time? Well, we glad we didn't, that. because now we have to get the car back. Didn't we thought about that? Nope. Never crossed my mind. I can like Jerry. I guess it crossed my mind. <laughs> Don't you dare eat Jerry. But I think you found one dead. You had two oxen, right? I think you guys found one dead and one fine. I, think, I don't think yeah. you found both. Or maybe you I didn't find either. the other one. I don't remember. No, I think we but just found one. one. We didn't find two. No, I know you... Okay, so you, the other one, you just don't know where it is. You didn't find it in you... any shape or form. Or Are you saying any... Ted is dead? Spoilers! Yeah, I it's named Ted, name, Ted and Jerry. <laughs> okay. Sure. Ted. Don't mind this guy. Alright, so... Uh... Back to the court! <laughs> so it is... Uh... <laughs> About like 10 in the morning. Um, so I think we're going to do it as a kill challenge for the travel. So you guys are going back to the cart, taking the cart back to Fendelin. Yeah. Um, so you have about, um, I don't know. And we have to put the the wheel again and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have an idea to repair the cart. We have a repair kit, right? Do we still have one? No, no. We bought we bought the repair kit and we used it on the cart, like oh, right, right away. I think. Oh. Oh, we so have... you guys have like uh, 30 miles back to the cart and then uh, for like 45 miles back to Fenderland. All right. So, plan. sorry. I know I said that's a plan. I was mm. thinking out loud. Yep. So it's gonna be, it's gonna take pretty much like uh, the whole day, and um, you're gonna arrive like maybe in the afternoon of the next day. All right, all right, all right. So, and I would walk 
25 miles to the car <laughs> and I <laughs> would walk 45 miles to Fendelin. Um. All right, so I'll make it like um. Uh, you you guys aren't gonna reach it. I'll make it two, three successes uh, to reach, and you have uh, two failures. Okay, so we have to roll three successes. To to reach, uh, to reach yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. And we have to roll dexterity or something. Um. You, ch you choose. That's the beauty of it. We choose. So like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, mum, mum, so mum, mum. You, uh, we're gonna go like around, mm -hmm. or if you guys, have, I don't know if you guys want to go one by one, or just if you have an idea, you shoot it. But if you already take took a turn, maybe wait for the other ones. I have uh, an idea, I, but we have to reach the cart, or doesn't really matter, and I just. Did we just uh, or something, or? No, I wouldn't do it with initiative. Um, like I said, like it's more idea based, but like maybe not always the same person. Um, and you have to be proficient with your with the skills that you want to use. And uh, like depending on the, how you describe it, I'll, I'll uh, give a DC for the success. Mm, um, okay. I might might tell you or not, but yeah, that's the plan. First success, I'll say you reach the cart. So, or depending on like what you guys think of what to do, we're gonna see how it fit with uh, when you guys reach the cart or camp or anything like that. Okay. So, like anything that can help on the travel, if it is perception, it can be perception. If it is uh, like letting the owl go, or yeah, that was, like, that, was that was my plan there. Cooking a better meal. <laughs> Or to give more energy <laughs> to people like go wild. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I'm going to take the wheel and going to start just roll it, and uh, and I'm going to perceive where is the good way to have the advantage to move the big wheel, and don't waste time. <laughs> think. All right. Uh, make um. What would be the skill that you're using? I'm going to use dexterity. As the it's a skill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um. Oh, any okay. The, okay. So yeah. I'm going to use wheel handling. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Athletics. Performance really bad. How? Uh, can survival? be athletics. Can be. Sorry. I use, I'm going to use survival because I'm going to check the way I'm going to walk with the wheel. And I think the wheel right. is pretty heavy. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll give okay. you that. Uh, oh, ah. 16. All right. So, uh, yeah, you guys uh, pack your, your things. Um, you... Uh, like, don't really prep the meat or anything. You're just like going to the cart. Uh, I don't know if everyone is going, or uh, just a small group, or no, no, we're I'll we're all there. going. All right, so everyone, start walking, uh, carrying your your stuff. Tamara, uh, quickly like take the wheel, um, and say like we don't have to carry it. Like, like dumb people, dumb strong people, and just start rolling it, uh, trying to like avoid all the holes and everything. And uh, 
yeah, you guys like make your way to the 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 camp, uh, uh, not the camp, but the cart. As easy it was to like get to where you guys are, uh, even if you would be uh, not carrying anything. All right, all right. Oh, we reached the cart. Oh. We've reached the cart. All right, Samat, help me out here. I'm gonna give Samat a crowbar. So he can actually like lift the cart a little bit, just just so the wheels doesn't touch the ground, and I'm gonna put the wheel back into its socket. Uh, no, not a socket. It's a piece of wood. <laughs> that I'm gonna put the wheel back in it, and I'm gonna carefully take a hammer and a piton, and I'm gonna hammer the piton through the wood. And I'm, then I'm going to bend it so the wheel stays in there. Hey. The bending is... What's a piton? Uh, it's a metal spike. So I was mm. aiming for athletics to okay. the, do the bending. Uh, okay. Go... Yeah, go ahead and make your athletics check. Bastard. Uh, the, the, the good thing I have is... Ooh, 13. All right. So, uh, Fern, with all his might, like, start working on, uh, on the cart, handling the wheel pretty easily, hammering uh, a rod of metal in the middle, and then, like... Flexing all his muscle, trying to like, uh, like bend it to keep the wheel in place. Um, it's actually harder than you thought it would be to uh, bend a metal uh, spike. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and uh, seems too old for now. Could have been a better job, but yeah, it's holding. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to use my perception. Because I have yep. eagle eyes. <laughs> well, yep. actually, mm. uh, Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna use my because other people have percep have perception, so I'm gonna use insight to try to figure out All if right. there's any tiredness or any like stress coming out from the the, the team, and I'm gonna cheer up when when someone when I feel that the 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 the, the morale is down okay <laughs> so you're, you're I'm trying to use insight so no no <laughs> i can i can add to that so like at the end when i'm when i'm done semi bending the the metal spike i'm like oh, it's not the best i could have done there's some out behind me doing like you did a good job like a little pat there there on the yeah, back just saying that's that would be like that's um, what I, I was going to say. It was, it's more like persuasion. Yeah, that would uh, be okay, like okay, persuasion. Okay. Than, than insight. If you um, tell him. If you don't tell him, then it can't be insight. But, yeah, that's right. Uh, but yeah, then I think, you I think would insight all... doesn't really apply for this. Mm. Or not yet, I guess. It's kind of a mix of both. And if, so you, use if you just... Uh, persuasion. If you... I'm going to use persuasion. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you... All right. Ten. Can you guide yourself on like a skill challenge like that? I don't think so, Mr. DM. Mm, no, since it's it's not like a a short action. It's more like a long period. Well, it depends on the action. Like mm -hmm. this one was a persuasion, so I'll leave it up to you. If you're 
going to Samat to cheer him up and persuade him that he did a good job uh, and raise the moral. You mean to Fern? Uh, Fern, yeah. Wh what did I say? Samat. Samat. Okay. Yeah, I meant Fern. But if you do that consciously, uh, I'll leave it to you if you okay. would have to. I'll do it. Of... Good. It's free. Yeah, that works. It's free. It was plus two, so it's 12. All right. Um, so, yeah, you try and cheer up Fern that he did a very great job on his repair. Um, yeah, uh, Fern's looking at you, looking at his repair. Doesn't really seem to cheer him up all that much, but hey. Hmm. 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 So, did we bring the oxen with us, or? I sure hope so. I would have <laughs> thought that we did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys did. So, technically, we need two oxen for the cart. Um, you, had, you had to. I mean, you can definitely try with one. All right, all right. It just might get tired quicker. Okay. Um, it's gonna be the same check, but nah. Um, as we drive off with the oxen, the, well, no, actually, it's just an ox now since we just have one. <laughs> uh, as, as we drive off with Jerry, um, sure. Uh. I'm going to check how he goes and at some point if he seems to have like a hard time I'm actually going to help him out and uh, replace the other rocks beside him. So I'm actually helping him pull the cart. Good. Are you're you taking like the helm and on four legs you're like mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're so are you doing animal handling to make sure to check? No, it no, I'm want... I'm pulling uh, pulling a cart. With Jerry. Athletics. Yeah, athletics again. Okay, so you're helping. You're the other oxen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, make your make your check. Fifteen. Good roll. All right. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> the, like, uh, you, you start moving and like the cart is rolling, uh, and like, it's never been in good shape. It's even worse right now. Um, but, uh, like the oxen is, seems to be struggling. Like, uh, the, the cart is not easy to pull. Usually it's worse right now. Uh, Fern, you notice that, and you guys see Fern just like, like taking the like the harness or whatever, like the the wood beam that is hooked to it, just take it, raise it, and start pulling. And like whoever's on the cart or uh, on the side, that like, you you feel a tug as the cart like pick up speed, and uh, you guys like are able to reach your previous destination. Um, all right, guys, never skip leg day. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And yeah, it's about the, uh, the end of the day. Um, but you're still like on the travel right now. Um, 
but you reach like the bear um, in the last place that you you guys can. We keep going. Should mm. we keep going? No, we should. Uh, it's the end of the day. Wanted... We should actually camp out and try again tomorrow. All right. We're, we're wanted... not going to reach Vandalin at this point. Wanted to take the bear too. Right. You're not the one to... who has been pulling the cart all day, right? No, I'm not. Mm. Why don't we have a, a bag of holding for that? The bear? I got you there, but there's so much a bag of holding can hold. I mean, it's a bear, right? We can cut it in little pieces and then jerky and bury some with us. I mean, we yeah. we carried a bear at oh. two people. Okay, okay. No, no, I can. It can fit <laughs> no. 500 pounds. Yeah, you becoming lazy or what? No, I am already cut in the head. Like, we're going to. <laughs> what, is, what is it with you and cutting head? It's incredible. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you do you? I like egg. Well, it's, it's cute. <laughs> oh, you're you're gonna keep it, and also. Well, I was like, well, I can sell it at a good price. Or and when she yeah. says it's cute and raise it, it's like <laughs> her oh. eyes are like just all like bloodshot and like the 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 tongue is all down with like uh like uh foam and blood everywhere. It's like it, it's not a sight to behold. Uh, it, it's cute. Yeah, it is. <laughs> see, you see? <laughs> just approach him like <laughs> to see better. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to uh, keep it better, like something. Uh, Taxidermy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't There's know no if that exists in DD, but yeah, sure. I animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I put the, I head think it's the you. car. Oh, thanks. You see? There's something someone like considers like is cute. So you guys are still in like the, the skill challenge. So any idea on uh, the next one? I can I can use my perception to try and guide the way or find any you know any potential danger. Yeah. Sure. I have something else after that. We can to uh, we going to get to Fendelin, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's oh, that's oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm yeah. Mm -hmm. Twenty-three. Pretty croissant. Twenty-three. All right. So um. <laughs> So you, you guys uh, spent the night in the same camping spot. So setting things up, uh, Tamara is handling the bear, uh, keeping the head, trying to do something to it. To like some, right somehow making la making it last longer. Um, <laughs> also like extracting the meat, putting it in smaller uh, portion, putting it in the bag of holding. Uh, everyone is uh, taking their night sh shift like you usually do. So Matt keeps an eye out. Um, you go through the light seemingly uh, without issue. Um, in the morning, you guys have, are having meat again. Uh, <laughs> you uh, pack everything, enter back on the cart and make your way for the rest of the day um, toward Fendelin um, and Simat looking around trying to see if anything is coming up. Um, you do manage to like spot some holes uh, on the on the street uh, that you tell Fern to like try and 
uh, man, 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 maneuver. How do you say that? Maneuver, maneuver around. Um, My tool is gonna be. Me. <laughs> do you make the same sound? Yeah. <laughs> As you pull. <laughs> um, but yeah, in about like uh, mid afternoon. Uh, sim you are approaching uh, Fendlin and Semat. Uh, on the way there, you notice um, at this point it's about like 100 feet. You can see the town, but you notice also uh, there's not a lot, but like maybe five, six. There is goblin heads on a spike at the entrance kind of the town um noise i need any of you see that do we see, well since he pointed out do we see it yes all right all right well, well i mean you guys you, you guys see stuff on the a pike. It's hard to tell mm -hmm. uh, from distance, but Samad is uh, is more keen a bit. Well, that's enough to make a grown man cry. Not this man. And uh, yeah, you you finally reached the. Uh, check if he is crying. Oh, goblin heads on his pike. That's right. That's yeah. Right here, goblin heads on a spike. In the town. Yeah. Uh, in in the kind of uh, outskirt of the town, like on the path leading to uh, the entrance that you guys like often took. I get the feeling when, they're making a statement. And when you uh, also that they've been attacked by goblins. They are fighting. Yeah, actually, they, they probably won since the goblins are on spikes. So, good news? Question mark? Let, let's go see for ourselves. Yeah. By the way, I rolled a 19. I was not crying. <laughs> <laughs> did Tamara, did Tamara uh, roll for insight? I don't know, ah. did you? See? Uh, Not yeah, crying. Was too low. <laughs> yeah. Good. Like eight. Um, I got dirt in my so eyes. Yeah. You you reach like the um, the uh, border of the city and you're greeted by w one guy that is sitting. Uh, you raise up. Hey, oh, who? Who's coming? Who's there? What's your business? Do we know him? <laughs> wow. Uh, he's wearing like a, a helmet, a chainmail. Like he has a spear. Um, it's hard to tell. We we know Seldor. Uh, we we are his friends. Do you know where we can find Seldor? Is it you? Are are you the group that... Yeah, I recognize you. And he, 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 remove his, he remove his... He remove his helmet. Um, make a... Insight? Yeah. Should I do? Or... Nice. <laughs> no, I still um, say move. 20. 30, 20. I have two. Nine. Nine. I mean, even with your roll, uh, are you? should should I roll inside too? Because I wasn't there. I I was there twice. I'm trying to laugh, I think. I don't right recognize on. you, but you should move aside. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> so, uh, like, even with your rolls that are a bit shitty, Zook, you can roll. I don't remember when you were in Fandelman. Uh, we killed, only yeah, so. you, you killed a guy in the back end. 
Yeah, just when yeah. Uh, you guys went there with the shape shifter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The shape shifter, yeah. Uh, come on, man. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice. Wow. wow. <laughs> um, nice. So, so, yeah, it would be one of the, the, the guy that you train. Mm. You probably don't remember the names of okay. every of them. Um, but yeah, it's you, you recognize his face. You can place a name on mm. on the guy. Okay, so I rolled nineteen in insights, huh? <laughs> Maybe that helps. Uh, for you, even mm -hmm. nineteen, you don't yeah. rec recognize the guy. Damn it! <laughs> no clue who it is. <laughs> All right. I rolled a dirty twenty. For insight? Yeah, for insight. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought plus two. Mm. Okay. So yeah, you do recognize him. You still don't know his name, but you recognize him uh, as one of the few that you enroll in the militia and briefly trained to protect the town. You're John, that's right. John, uh, John Smith. No, my name's Kirk, but uh, t t thanks for for trying. I. I'm glad you guys are back. Uh, are you the captain? Um, <laughs> no. Is your name Captain Kurt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I I don't. Um, you, you guys are free to go. Uh, I, I need to stay <laughs> here. You did but, good, Kirk. Uh, uh, thanks. I'll give him hey, a pat. Can you do? Can you do a, it, just a face palm for me. It's Kirk. So, so, sorry, I, I think you're mis, mispronounced. I, just go, just, just go. Just, just gotta say, uh, aye, aye, Captain. You're uh, the way you, you, you kind of greeted us. It was Spock on. Yeah, uh, you think I, I, I did good? You, you, you think I, um, I, I, thank you, thank you. I, I'm, I'm. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll keep at it. Yeah. Ah, Th thank thank you. Balls, will you. You never it's, make a captain like this. It's uh, it was good. It was good. You could also you could almost start an enterprise with that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. God, God damn it. <laughs> Alright, this guy is dead. Move. <laughs> I'm gonna help Jerry. Pull the cart. <laughs> we should uh, we should maybe oh, try to stop by uh, Bolton, see if he has anything to fix that. Not sure my my, my, my my quick fist is actually gonna work. So we have business here, right? Like. Uh, so uh, as you guys enter the town. Uh, as um, wait, as Tamara uh, the, says that, I'm gonna pull like a orc chief head out of the bag of holding. You think we do? Which, which by the way, looks and smells awful. Oh crap! I'll put it back in the bag of holding. <laughs> Good. And as you're doing that, the cartwheel just falls apart, like crumbling, and the cart is like. Like just crooked Tilted. on one side, um, and just not moving. He's dead, Jimmy. Crap. Well, it lasted long enough. You can so, ask for reparations. Yeah. Is there any good. beer left? I think a bit. Like, mm, like after beer? beer. Beer has been emptied. The only thing we have left is a keg of dwarven brandy. Which yeah. should, should be I'm saved on special that. occasion. I'm taking it and uh, I'm I'm going on the in the tavern, like straight in the tavern. Actually, no, All we right. have a weird reward to go to, right? Yeah. Okay. okay I'm we have it. What? Reward. reward. All right. Or for the orcs. So you guys are going straight to the townmaster hall. Arben. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, guys, yeah, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, just make sure you look at Arbin's face. 
when I'm gonna pull out the, the head out, okay? It's gonna be rich. <laughs> to the town hall! Uh, can, we make, can we make a pit stop by uh, the, the, the Toblin? Is it Toblin? Crap. Gurdon? It is. Crap. For the, the, the inn or? No, 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 no. The guy who sold us the cart. Oh, he's a farmer. Barton. Oh, yeah. No. Was it Barton? No. Yeah, it was Barton. Mm -hmm. Well, Barton uh, sold us the no, map and you... the repair kit. For no, the cart. Like... Yeah, but Barton had a good cart, but you left them to him. Mm -hmm. You guys bought an old shitty cart from the guy with the farm. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Affelf. Yeah, that it, it's is still gonna called... be Barton who's gonna give us the well if right. he has a repair kit again. I don't have his name. Maybe he Darren. Darren. Darren is the guy that sold the cart, I think. But yeah, uh, uh, like top. Um, Barton is Barton. a guy I want to see. What's the name of the store? I don't know. Barton and Sons. I think it's. Yeah, it is. Darren by the old is it? farm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that would be um, Darren. Yes. Barton's Provisions. Supply. Oh, provision? I have supply. And it's. Pretty much at the uh, like walls of the, the town, so you almost crashed in front of it. And I can pull up the map of Fendelin again mm -hmm. if you guys want to see. Uh, Fendelin. I'm gonna barge in the 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 the, the, the Barton supply. I say, hey Barton, you don't have anything to fix a cart, do you? Whoa, whoa, what an entrance. Ah, uh, so, sorry, you took me by surprise. Welcome back. You guys have been gone for, what, a week? Probably. Um, if I have anything for a car. Did I sell you guys a repair kit or? Well, I mean, we've been gone for like at least a week. I mean, you could have like resupplies or something. Is there a way we can get a f cart fixed? Um, actually, I think there's. Yeah, what's his name? There is a woodworker in the t in the town. Mm. He could certainly work on your cart. Would be more efficient than buying a kit i think uh which i don't have by the way um so, so... much for supplies mm. what's the name uh the woodworker is he called the woody woody the woodworker i don't think so it would be funny though <laughs> Good one. Um, I don't even know if he has a name. So we can call him Woody. Um, hmm. Wait. His name is Ishan. What? Ishan? 
Ishan. Okay. You can find him. Um, he has a workshop. It's close to the town master hall. On the other side of the street. Can't miss it. It's usually working outside on some well, wooden stuff. I, I'm just saying, but uh, from all this time I've been here, I've always missed him, so... You cannot say I can't miss him, because always has. We well, realize. I don't know. All right, uh, I th th thank you, uh, Barton. Anything else I can help with? I have a lot of food, a lot of other stuff that I can sell you. Well, maybe maybe another time. We might plan a, a big trick to never winter or so. Right. And like he walks, uh, he walks you off outside, uh, kind of like waves at everyone else. Um, and as you, I, I guess you guys are leaving. Yeah, we're going to the town, town, to the gorgeous town, gorgeous. town master. Okay. Uh, right. um, wait, which would be first, the woodworker or the town master? Town master. Um, okay. But the woodworker, Memoir. we have to let the card there and wait. Oh. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Um. All right, help me out, Gauss. Uh, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna be the fourth wheel. So you guys, um, you're gonna have to guide Jerry. We're gonna park it in front of the woodworker. And uh, I'm just gonna lift the cart, like the, the remi remaining wheel. I'm just gonna hold it up, and we're gonna roll to the woodworker shop, which name is Isham. 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 I, th I take Jerry. I start to pull it. All right, friend. Making athletics checks. Yeah, boy. 21. So, without issue, like flexing all your muscle, I'm gonna using take, your legs. I'm going to take my shirt off. Very important. <laughs> you know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and like, uh, the Barton is down. just like, Mm -hmm. Barton is just on the side of his door, like watching you guys, <laughs> and you're just like taking your shirt off, using your legs, uh, lifting <laughs> the cart. You're what? I'm drinking. The bourbon. I don't don't drink the anything. The, the, the dwar magical the bourbon. <laughs> yeah, Pretty don't don't drink the anything. freaking dwarven brandy. I'm keeping yeah. tab on, on the inventory of it. We have brandy, you have brandy, Semad. Yeah, but it's special brandy. It's not like get drunk on it, brandy. <laughs> it can save someone on the verge of death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <Good>. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just hurry up. Yeah, yeah, we're going, we're going. Make a constitution. Me? Uh, save, turn. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Uh, con. 15. All right. So, uh, Tamara pulling the ox. Jerry. Uh, um, Jerry. Jerry. Sorry. Um, His name's Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Fern <laughs> holding the cart, pulling at the same time. You guys... Like stumbling and uh, swearing a bit and uh, like hauling, uh, you do make your way uh, to the woodworker without uh, without issue, <laughs> if you can say so. <laughs> but at least the cart is not in the middle of the road at the entrance of the town. 
uh, you are currently standing um, on the side of the, the cart next to the woodworker. Townmaster is on, just on the other side of the street. So you guys are here at this point. Well, we should... Uh... We should get the orc business sorted out. Anyway, the cart is not going anywhere in this situation, so... And... Well, the, the head... the head reeks. Well, it's fine in, in the bag of a holding, but it's... when we get it out, it's gross. Alright. So, you guys make your way to the town master. Yep. <laughs> markings. Um... You enter, um, Harbin is at his desk, like usual. It's the middle of the afternoon. You probably catch him just before he was going to leave. Uh, he looks up from his desk. Oh, whoa. Who look, who do we have here? Who decided to show up? Oh. Wait, am I still shirtless as he says that? <laughs> <laughs> All <think> sweaty so. <laughs> and <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put my shirt on. <laughs> you're getting, you're getting weird vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Better to put that shirt back on. Uh, 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 well, t t obviously it's us. You, you don't see. You. A lot of groups like that, I think. Uh, I got something for you, uh, Orban. I'm gonna get close to him. Alright. And I'm gonna pull out slowly. Well, no, I'm gonna put my hands in the bag of holding slowly. Then I'm gonna really, like... <laughs> <laughs> Whack it out. <laughs> like a peekaboo. Peekaboo! Make we took effort. care of your orc issue! <laughs> Make a performance check. Nice. Oh, god damn it. Um, okay, okay. Can I, can I, uh, as I'm trying to actually pull it out very quickly, well, the, the, the kind of decay and moisture that kind of resides on the head, it slips off my finger and I kind of drop it on the floor. I rolled it <laughs> at four. Oh. So I kind of like. The, the fuck is that? What, what? What were you trying to do there? Well, it's called. Uh, I'll just pick it up and put it on his dicks. It, it looks. Like, there's a look of disgust in his face, but then he realized, like, what you guys did. And there's actually, like, for pretty much the first time, uh, actual, like, um, Emotions? look of, look of, uh, I want to say proud, but respect in his face. Mm. Oh, oh, you, I didn't know you guys were going for the orcs. Well, but that looks like, inside. that looks like the chief. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm. that, that's, that's great. That's, it means a lot for, for the town. Like, it means that we don't have to. We don't have to, like, worry about those orcs anymore. I counted the second time we saved this town. Well, I mean, nobody's arguing that at this point. Yeah, I You're... hope so. There's a guy who didn't know us at the gate. Yeah. Well, Come I mean... That motherfucker. He sure is just trying to do his job. He's doing it pretty good. 
of what I've heard. Where, where is Sildor? Oh, um, that's a good question. I saw it. Too. I saw him today. He was in mm. in the Townmaster Hall. Okay, um, okay. So he didn't leave he's... for uh, Neverwinter yet. No, no, not yet. Okay, uh, okay, okay. I think he was waiting for your return. Um, but he's planning to go probably as soon as you guys comes back. If you remember, we had some matter to attend. We? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it's probably gonna yeah. end up in the same situation as this pointing at the head on the counter. Yeah. Well, I have a good news and a bad news. Start with the bad one. Yes. The bad one. You guys are weird. Uh, he, he just points at the, the fuck cell. What did you just say to me? I, I said you guys are weird. Show us some respect. Um. Kill him. You just. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not in the mood. Yeah, he just wants wants a beers. Just that. Yeah, he gets cranky I... when he doesn't get his booze. I. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Sure. I understand. Um, so yeah, he points out the cell that Halia was in. Oh no. And... Is she dead? It's empty. <laughs> Wait. You were supposed to hold off the execution until we get back! She's Who dead said... or escaped? Um, most likely escaped. Fucker. We don't know how... What was that? Huh? I didn't hear. Um, yeah, um, she probably had some help. It, it, it happened two days ago. Her parents arrived in Finland um, yesterday. But now... We don't have anyone to execute, so kind of came for nothing. Still trying to investigate what happened, but that's the state of the things. That was the good news, by the way. Oh. Their parents are in town. They also brought, like, Alia's sister with them. Something about taking over or some shit. <laughs> They're, over. Over, they're, right. they're staying at the, the inn. Well, I suppose you guys taking want to over have a chat the, with them. The, 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 the miners' exchange, which yeah, Elia was. That, yeah. That's what I talked to. Probably some form of family business. <laughs> All right, about that payment, and like he gets out like um, a chest. On the counter, um, start counting some gold pieces. Uh, I thought he was gonna hand out the whole thing, just like there a chest. Poch. Do we know how much gold it was supposed to be for that mission? We don't. Uh, it was just said enough. reward. And there was typos on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so he and you guys uh, a bag of gold pieces. Here's your payment. Thanks again. Helping the town again and again. How much is it? Yeah, how much is it? I don't know. How much is it? Uh... The deal was a hundred gold, so it's a hundred gold here. 
insight check. Yeah, I feel like he's cheating us. Goal? Yeah, Go me for too. It. Inside as well. I'm looking for, Go money. for it. I'm gonna roll inside too. Yeah, yeah, it feels. I, I'm gonna weigh the the pouch and yeah, it feels like a hundred oh, gold. Gee. I got ten. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Seventeen. I rolled oh. seven. Um. He seems smart, right? Hmm. That's what. Uh. That's what was planned for the year. Actually, we never... The, did Did we ever quest. know? I don't know. Never. I don't think we, we did. Yeah. It wasn't written on the paper? No. No. I think it was, no. That was bold enough to face the Org Menace should inquire within, but... Don't we uh, get extra for the Augur? I don't remember. Uh, good question. Yeah. Well, um, Harbin, that was agreed for, like, the Orc Menace, but what about the Ogre Menace? There was not the only orc. Orcs, there was Ogre again, also. Uh, yeah, what about the Ogre? It was a big you Ogre. Said anything about an Ogre? Kate almost died. <laughs> See that kid? See how cute he is? Make lies glowing. I never make it. <laughs> it was so hard. Make a uh, friend, make a persuasion and a deception check. The deception is for saying Cade almost died. Oh, god, while you're the one okay. that almost died. <laughs> and the persuasion is to uh, persuade for. Um, okay, and per you can get advantage on the. Persuasion, because Simat is helping. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, no, it's still gonna be Persuasion 19. And deception... Where the hell is Deception 15? Um... He... <laughs> when you say a kid almost died, he's, he looks at you a bit weird, like... Not really... Um believing what you're saying mm. uh but still all right all right i almost you... died you happy now i didn't say anything but in theory we all almost died i you know what i'll add another 30 gold piece for the ogre i didn't know that was a threat but you guys clearly put your lives on the line, so I think it's worth at least that. Yeah, we kind of got our cart stolen. We were very some three bandits who came into the night and tried to struggle, strangle us or something. And uh, by the way, they're coming to help. Might, might be. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, How does that? How's that work? Well, we don't, don't, don't worry, Arben. We scare them shitless, so yeah, they, they shouldn't do any trouble. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell the guard to keep an eye for bandits that wants to join. Three. Three. And one any of them names? has a, a tiny weenie. Right, so X bandit be the word. What? What? I don't always hear what you're saying. Is that because of the sound effect? Kind of, yeah. Oh. Um so they're well they're not technically bandits anymore. They're not taking bandit anymore. They're not technically bandits anymore. Oh, <laughs> it's not just a sound they, effect. <laughs> they've repent. Yeah, my yeah, AirPods kind of, kind of... bandits now. Ex bandit. Yeah. Um. Okay. Any names to identify them so that we can make sure 
We load them in. No. <laughs> Did we forget to take names? Why would yeah, we take yeah. names? I mean, yeah. there's three, three naked guys. They don't look like much, and they they oh. won't tell us that they were referred here by a group of adventurers. I mean... We are insane. And he's, like, taking notes. Uh, you want to verify so that their identity, just tell us... Tell them to, uh, to tell the story of how they met those adventurers, and they'll tell you. Or if, if, if we're in town and three guys uh, wanted to get into town just ask for us we'll confirm if it's them or not all right uh yeah oh I'll, I'll try to get that message across and so you can see on this paper all that he took as notes is like three naked guys <laughs> kill on sight Fuck, who are the f kill on sight give me that uh, mm, by the I way, know. I made a quick math. You can all add 26 gold to your inventory. How much? 26. 26. 26. Yay. Um, and before you guys leave, uh, I mean, if you want to help on, like, investigating what happened or who might be um, who might be the culprit for freeing Alia? Hell yeah! I would appreciate. Mm. I think it's for the best. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Arben, what's with the the goblins on Spike outside? Mm. You guys were raided. Yeah, there was one one raid. Um, we the guy did pretty good. The we guy able... or the guys? The guys. The okay, new guys. Okay, okay, okay. Good. We only lost one and we c killed all the goblins. And we just thought of maybe put, putting those up as a. Yeah, as the a opposite warning. of an incentive. <laughs> a warning? Right. No. It's a warning. Yeah, a warning for the others, uh, so that they hopefully don't attack again. Yeah, well, I don't know how many goblins there is, but God, there shouldn't be that many left. Anywho, I'm, I'm up for a beer. Oh, before you leave. Um, we found the only clue that we found is in uh, Alia's cell. Is this? And he puts on. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> he puts on the table a single piece of copper. <gasps> copper. That bastard. Oh, that's right. We that's didn't right. think uh, didn't we see in a while. Copper? About her. There's all something about her. The copper. You guys seem to know something. Well, Harbin, you... I can't remember. Do, do you remember the little goblin that was with us always? Yeah, this little, the little stinky one. Yeah. Stenched. He, he was called Copper, and we fed him coppers. You fed him copper? Well, a goblin that eats copper? He didn't eat oh. them, but he kind of... He gathered it. Mm. He's a copper holic. But wasn't with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wasn't it? Wasn't he with you guys? We, uh, we kind of lost him back at the Kragma hideout. Hideout or castle? Castle. The castle. Hmm. Okay. And did you guys, did you did he stole anything from you guys? Nah, he, he just left. He's okay. 
Did, just, uh, maybe it was tricked or something. I did he steal anything from us? He broke her friendship. Inventor. <laughs> He stole my heart. We're gonna meditate on this and come back to you tomorrow with uh, uh, maybe some insight. Uh, I was gonna say inventory check, <laughs> but go for it. You're doing it now, like in the middle. Opens your inventory. <laughs> no, 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 no! I won't because if I pour the the bag of holding out, we're gonna have like a. I don't know, hey. 200 pounds of freaking bear meat <laughs> right 20, in the middle. And, and 25 pounds of delicious deer meat. We're going to sell it to the inn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go see uh, Toblin. And the head. Well, the head. Right. Can we take a bath Very break head. real quick? A what? I was going to say... I was actually gonna say, do you guys want to do the inn and finish like the day, or we just end it here and pick it up when you guys are entering the inn? I don't mind either. I could uh... go longer. I don't mind. I don't mind. Are you? We can finish the day. So, Matt? Yeah. 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 All right. I Sounds still good. need I still need that yeah. quick break though. Let's, let's sure. take a five minute break. Yeah, let's take a five minute. <laughs> All right. I'm starting to get sleepy. <clears throat> so um, yeah, you guys finish at the townmaster. Um, you make your way to the inn. I'm gonna update. Uh, Marker, where's the inn again? I forgot. What's that? That Someone's one? Gonna, someone's yeah. gonna mark it. Doing, 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 doing. I thought it was a big building in the middle. It's this one. One, 354 so US. Yeah, it's uh, not cheap. Well, it depends uh, how many stuff you had, but yeah. It's, All right. It's good. So, to the uh, inn. yeah, you make your way to the inn. Uh, Toblins. You enter. Uh, it's mid afternoon, still getting close to supper. Uh, it's pretty busy, there's quite a bit of, of people. You get the feeling that, like, in the time you guys were away, there is potentially, like, more people that kind of join the town. Like, it's a bit more secure. They're trying to find, uh, like, new people to hire. Uh, the word is going around uh, with, like, um, Alias family coming over and uh, all that. So, uh, I... Yeah, it's it's busy. Town is booming. I wouldn't go as far as that, but no, oh. it's uh, it's lively. It's hinting in that direction. I wouldn't say booming just yet. No, oh, it's booming. <laughs> right. It's explosive. You, you make your way in. Um, Dublin doesn't seem to be in like uh, in sight. Uh, there's some inside. Like... <laughs> what? Well, Dublin is the guy who takes care of the inn. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's way too late for that one. Yeah, it's never too yeah, late for it really is. Nobody, nobody. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, so yeah, there's a waiter that greets you guys. Um, oh, 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 I, I recognize you. Uh, you're, you're the group. Uh, everyone in town has been saying, like, group of people, but, like, starting to get weird. Like, do you guys have a, a name? I'm Fern. 
I, I, I meant for, for to refer to your group. <laughs> oh, um. Zooks uh, plus four. Four. <laughs> For, for now, you can call us the group. <laughs> the group. Wow. W w welcome ba back, the, the group. Um, I have a mighty five. <laughs> mighty five. <laughs> mighty, mighty five. five. What about the high five? <laughs> I love it. High five it is. I have a, I have a t table. Uh, Actually, we're pretty small, so it would be a low five. The cool, <laughs> the low five. And as you're discussing that, it, <laughs> like the water is just like bringing you to the table, um, and asking around, like, "What can I, what, what can I bring to you guys?" Well, uh, I might have something actually for the kitchens or for Dublin directly. I know. Oh, um, yeah, if, sure. For, for you guys, I, I can get Dublin. To, I, I think he's probably in the kitchen right now. I, yeah, I can, he, he might want to bring a box. What? Bring bring Dublin and a box. It's going to um, be useful. A, Dublin could be in the box well. Yeah, sure. Right. It could be Dublin in a box, too. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll see what, what I can do. And, and near. He goes back. Um, it's probably like Dublin's son. Don't forget <laughs> the beard. How to end end all you guys? Um, so he goes back. You guys are at your table, waiting for <laughs> Dublin to come back. Now it's time to argue oh, and. Leave. Sorry. <laughs> oh, by the way, I think that I told. I think I told uh, Cupper to kind of watch over her. I think you did. Maybe. I told something to Cupper about her. <laughs> and I'm not sure what. <laughs> hmm. So I guess her parents could be the lead and we could tell that we told Copper that. Well, no, well, I, of course, it doesn't come from us, but uh, maybe it's because of that. Maybe. Copper help her? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. He was just being her, useful. I told him to watch over her because she was supposed mm. to not get executed before we came back. Yeah, but we we're, but we go with the with Copper to the castle. I, and I remember the conversation. So maybe he understood the wrong thing. Maybe. <laughs> maybe he thought he needed he to help her. He wasn't really yeah. intelligent. Or, yeah. Or he was bribed. I mean, he left the cup in there. My <laughs> friend! Oh, it's been so long. Toblin! Hey. Look at huh. this! <laughs> Take care of the head. The Wait, bear. we have the head? The, the bear? Yeah, we have it. Oh, wow. Oh. You you guys have been have been busy. We've been bear hunting. hunting. It's new? Uh, yeah, it's a gift. Take it. <laughs> it it's, thanks. Um, I'll, I'll try to do something with that. Uh, we can put it on the wall? Can yeah, be a, sure. A way to... Make it more like yours? Yeah. Sure. Or it. I'm sure there's someone in town that can turn that into... Something useful, beautiful. Something pretty. Yeah. yeah. Prettier than the state it's in right now. Yeah. It's a more ah. deep as dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you did bring him back. Uh... <laughs> Um, did you bring a box, uh, Toblin? Yeah, what, what, what's that about? I'm gonna start, uh, getting all the, all the bear <laughs> meat I have out. I don't know how much I have, actually, I don't even know. Um, I think it would be about, like, 300 pounds of meat. 
Oh god, Doblin, you're gonna need more than one box. He's like, uh, I mean, he, he just brought like a small crate. And uh, he's like, what, what, what do you mean? What, what What's the box for? Uh, we've got some bear meat. I don't know if you'd be interested in cooking bear. Bear is really good. So you, you guys went hunting a bear and now you want me to cook it for everyone? Or... Well, what? if if you could make some, like, bear bacon or bear jerky, yeah. uh, we can take on the road, it would be wonderful. Nice. And what's left, oh, you yeah, can turn it good. into, uh, I don't know, bear pies or bear souffle or... All right, now I'm hungry. Bear Wellington. <laughs> bear Wellington. Oh, yeah, no, uh, okay, I, I, I get what you mean now, okay. So, yeah, I can, um, it, I can prepare your dinner with meat, so, like, a good beer dinner, and all the rest, I can salt it, I can dry it, and everything to, like, make it more, like, conservation-friendly, mm -hmm. and, yeah, I mean... Uh, and I can give it back to you uh, for a small fee for my service, and that's well, it. Well, how about uh, you keep some of it and that pays for your service? Yeah, yeah. I would say um, yeah. we can cut it half and half. I have about 300 pounds of it. You have what? <laughs> yeah. Th 300 pounds? Like one beer. One, one bear. Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay. It is more than one beer. Do, do you want me to bring it straight into the kitchen instead of you going back and forth? I think that oh. would be best. Yes. Okay. Uh, that I think that's a deal we can we can cut. Yes, it's a lot of meat. I'll, I'll go empty the the, what, the bag of holding into the the kitchen. What, well, not empty the bag of holding, but just empty all the bear meat in the kitchen. So I got I get rid of it. What did you say, Sana? We have service fees for delivery to the kitchen. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, it's not a question, it's a fact. We have service fees for delivery to the kitchen. So that balances out your service fees for chopping the bear and preparing it. Oh, uh, I, already, I think we're already cutting a deal. I keep some, no fees. So there's already oh. no. Sorry, I haven't drank yet, so I'm, I'm <laughs> kind of in a foul mood. You're faster with beer. I I love that, and I'm gonna bring you back your beer. Thank you. And he he, he just shouts at like all the waiter. Hey, we we need a lot of help. Like everyone, back in the kitchen. And uh, he makes it away there with you, Fern. Uh, you spent a good, like, 15 minutes just, like, trying to find space in the kitchen to put all that meat, like, uh, <laughs> some on, like, big hooks and, like, drying racks and all that stuff. And um, you are able to go back to your table. Uh, Tom Dublin's coming back with uh, beers for everyone. Uh, and he starts cooking your meal. Uh, it's warm. There's gravy, potatoes, carrots, like everything that you guys didn't have in your whole trip. Uh, the feast is amazing. The beer is great. Uh, Simat, like Tobin, have some other new things that he's trying that it gets, uh, it gets you to taste it. Um, but yeah. Where all you guys are, just spending a good night at uh, the inn with good food, which has been quite a long time. Hey, uh, Toblin, tell me, have you ever tasted brandy? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, I, I did, yeah. Have Why? you ever brewed brandy? I can't say I tried, no. 
I, uh, I didn't get into that all like distillation thing. I keep it simple with beer. It, oh, it's okay, better. Okay, okay. I would have had like a sample for you to, to try and maybe replicate if you want a temple in distillery. I mean, if you have some, I'll try it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to replicate it, but I mean, we we have strong liquor. It's just that I'm not making it. I'm going to give a glass. Uh, I think it's a bottle. It's one and a half pint. Anyway, that. To Toblin. So you're all taking a shot with him, or you're just letting Oh, yeah. Him... Yeah, not Zook. Wait. Push. Uh, no, no, sure. Uh, sure. We could all take a glass of uh, Dwarven brandy. We're gonna half. Uh, we're gonna be halfway through the keg at that point. Then. Everybody get a dwarven brandy, except Zook. He accepts it. Like there's a big cheer. Everyone uh, clean their glass and like down the the shot. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> this one has a kick. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. I love it. Where did you guys find that? Uh, we found it in the Kragma Castle. It's Dwarven Brandy. Hmm. Yeah. They know their shit. Mm. Of course. <laughs> All right. I, uh. I assume you guys will need lodging for the night. Yeah, do, do you still have space le left? I know that uh, uh, I think Helia's family are here. I don't know how many there are, but... Yeah, we have... Yeah, uh, Helia's family uh, arrived yesterday, so we have them. Uh, we have uh, two other visitors, so we only have three rooms left as of now. It's not your usual. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can get a room for each of you, unfortunately, at this time. Very sorry for that. Um, but if you want to book the three rooms remaining, um, get a warm bed, something comfortable for the night. That's the least. I, yeah, that's the least that I can do. But um, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll take we'll take the three rooms. And uh, you don't happen to know if there was a, like, any house for sale at this point. I mean, we keep coming back here, so might not be too bad to have a footing. Interesting. Um, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll have to ask around um, and and see who would be the best person to to ask that, but um, yeah, we can talk in the morning. Sure, sure. It feels like my night is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna feel like uh, two weeks, but yeah, we'll talk in the morning. Yeah, we're sharing rooms this time. Yeah. Who's going with who? <laughs> well, I feel I feel comfortable uh, work, uh, you know, sleeping with K because you know how quick it is with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Fair. Smart. Yeah, I'd be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's super safe. You you just don't touch me and you will be fine. Don't don't yeah, stab you, me. You... I I won't stab you. <laughs> It's in the middle deal. of the night, you just... <laughs> oh, sorry. You, you fart on the right, the wrong side of the Yeah, room. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Don't fart. What? Don't ever. Just, just don't. He'll kill you. Well, uh, Zook, did you have anything to, 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 to like, 
transcribe or did you have any spell to do? No, I need to go to the market in the morning. Ah, okay. But otherwise, uh, be a good night's sleep. Well, you can bunk with me because I'm not sure if Tamara and I in the same room is going to fit that much. Yeah, you're too big. <laughs> All right, I'll go with Fern. All right. So you guys Yay. enjoy your meal. For those of you that drinks, there is plenty of beer. You drink, you fill. Um, the night, nights come in. There is some music in the, the tavern. Uh, some dancing if you guys are up for it. No. And otherwise... <laughs> I mean, I've been pulling a cart like for half of the day. <laughs> I think I, yeah, I'm not been traveling a while now. I'm just enjoying. I'm covering lots of affairs, so yeah. Well, Kate is dancing. <laughs> 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 and and yeah, like uh, you enjoy your night. Uh, whenever each of you feels like it, you end up uh, going upstairs, finding your room. Uh, Kid with Samad, Zook with Fern, Tamara by yourself. Um, and yeah, you find sleep very quickly whenever you go to bed. And we're going to close it here for tonight. Yeah. Copper. Mm. Copper. Mm. Copper, the culprit. Yeah, I can't wait to talk to Copper. To fuck Copper? That's what you said? Talk to, <laughs> no, talk to talk Copper. Talk to Copper. Dime, you're aggressive. <laughs> well, uh, we we yeah. don't even know where he is. Maybe he's with Hilia. Hell yeah. No, it's pronounced Maybe Hell, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Maybe he's bunking with uh, Silver. No, Sildor? no one. No, no. Yeah, maybe sleeping with silver or gold. You don't know. Ooh, mm -hmm. I don't think so. I'm sorry, I had to do that. Sildor is really like. But if you're gonna legal, cheat, might as well go legal. with platinum. Yeah, damn, you might be right. <laughs> Now's a good time to check your inventory. Did 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 we lose something? Inventory damn. check. Did we lose something? I think so. Let me refresh just in case. Oh, the, uh, do I even know? Do I even see what I see? Do, do I see it? Who's looking? Who I'm would actually look? Fine. Fine. Yeah. You, you, like, you look over your stuff, everything's there. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm washing my stuff. Maybe uh, maybe you should look at your uh, all your stuff before you go to bed. Just saying. Yeah, I'm just looking. Uh, my pockets. Shit! The only valuable thing I have is a grimoire. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna stay away from it. So if I have that, I'm good. See anything as well? Maybe. Uh... Me neither. Maybe I'm not looking at my inventory often enough. All right, Tamara. Yeah. You're looking uh, at everything. You you do notice something wrong with your um, your purse or where you keep your money, um, and it, it it appears that. I don't know if you guys remember, but you killed a hunting party of goblins and found 700, like a bag of 700 copper. That bag is gone. The 700 copper is gone? Yes. Like, for the sake of the story, I, like, I know you guys split things off, so... Uh, everyone's gonna have to remove like that like, 700 copper, which is not that much in, in gold, but um, oh, damn it. I remember you had it and uh, yeah. you noticed that this specific bag 
is gone. So we have to remove 140 copper each. 140 copper. Okay. Uh, guys, I'm missing some copper. Well, I assume that's happening in your rooms once you get upstairs. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So uh, but... you guys can talk about it tomorrow. Next tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay, yes. okay. Get it. On the next <laughs> day. Oh. Bad. You copper. <laughs> and I don't know where I miss it. Um, what moment? Hard to tell. Okay. It's been a long time now that copper's gone. Yeah, yeah. It was gone in the, uh, the castle. In the castle. We slept in the castle, right? Yeah. And we... Oh, there you go. Buried yeah, some people. We've been everything. gone for like a week, so copper kind of went missing for five, six days at least. Okay, uh, yes, you're right. He was gone at the first time or the second time we went to the castle? Second time. The second time. He was not there. The first time he was just hiding. Yeah. Yeah, and he wow. said, um, Arben said that. Hell yeah, escape about two days ago. So the time span would actually fit. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. The plot thickens. Chin, chin, chin. Well. Right. That was fun. Guys. Yeah. 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 I did not expect that. to go hunting today. <laughs> but it was fun. No. no, the hunt was good. <laughs> it was fun. I wasn't expecting it either. <laughs> and see Simat kill a bear with I can't his bear hands. Bear hands. Yeah. Bear hands. <laughs> yeah. Bear bear hands. hands. Oh dear God. Oh dear. No, that was not <laughs> a deer. Oh, I was dear sitting God. on that one for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm so tired. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. See you yes, next thank you. time. Uh, bye. 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 Bye.